We are uh, in Jerusalem now. It's a beautiful day, a little bit hot, but uh, next week it's going to be hotter. You can see the light rail goes all the way up to the first uh, gate of the city uh, at the northern wall, and this is the new gate. It was opened, it, actually the new gate is the last gate that been uh, built or been opened to the public because the area just there, it's the outside the walls, it's the Christian quarter outside the walls and they asked the, they asked the other ones to open them a gate that they will be able to reach the Christian quarter and the church of the Holy Sepulchre. But the main gate, or the most beautiful one, is in front of you and this is Damascus Gate. Um, it leads to Damascus, the way to Damascus. St. Paul started from here. And for so many years, at the Muslim time, that was the main entrance to Jerusalem. Today, the main entrance is Jaffa Gate, which is at the western part of the wall. And um, I will walk a little bit um, outside the wall to show you another gate. And then we will enter together to a non-touristic part of Jerusalem and we will talk about it soon. If you are following me and you are because you already subscribed to the channel and, you, and it's not your first video, yes. if it's your first video please subscribe and send me a message that I will welcome you to my family. Um, the northern part of the wall is one of the most problematic part of the old city because that area is higher than that and uh, you can see that it's easier to conquer the city from here and, uh, and in fact the crusaders entered the city from the northern part Now we do have two tombs of Jesus in Jerusalem. First one is uh, Church of the Holy Sepulchre. You can see the two tombs of it, two domes of it. Can you see it? There it is. This is the well-known part. I think everyone that visits the, ch the city, Jew, Muslim, Christians visit the church. But there's another option outside the city walls and it's called the garden tomb uh, I have many videos of the garden tomb and many videos of the church of the Holy Sepulchre and you can watch it and according to the garden tomb the Calvary is, is there Today it's the entrance to, it's not the entrance, it's part of the uh, East Jerusalem slash Palestinian um, uh, bus station, central bus station. Then this is the Calvary, that's where Jesus was crucified according to the Church of England and so many other Protestants. Mm -hmm. Right, and to your right side, you can see King Solomon Quarry. It's a beautiful quarry, certainly because of COVID, and then uh, it's, they didn't open it. They are renovating it, as they say. And when they will open it, I will be there. Meanwhile, you can actually watch King Solomon Quarry or Tzedakaya Cave uh, through my videos. Then you can see how beautiful it is. We believe that uh, King Solomon, oh, sorry. A King Herod built is um, uh, most of the city and the temple from that quarry. And one of the quarries that he used, which used to be outside the city as well, is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. Remember, we saw the two tombs of the church there. Wow, it's so breezy. I don't know if you can hear the uh, the wind. In the video but it's um, it's 
quite, quite, quite good. Straight ahead, it's Mount of Olives. And what you see here is Augusta Victoria, which is a Palestinian hospital today. Augusta Victoria was a Lutheran, still a Lutheran area, but they use it as a Palestinian um, hospital. And tomorrow, Mr. Biden, that are visiting uh, Israel now, will visit it. Now, tomorrow it will be difficult to walk here. I'm sure that they will close a lot of the road. But now, hello. hello. Where are you from? Uh, South Korea. South Korea, South Korea, <laughs> we are. <laughs> then this is East Jerusalem. I love to visit that place. You can see that the bedrock is part of the wall. We are reaching to the Flower Gate slash uh, uh, King Herod Gate. And soon you will see it. Then remember there are three main gates. Uh, there's only three gates in the northern part of the wall. And we're going to visit and enter to the city from uh, that gate. This is part of, please take some non-touristic uh, tools of the old city and I'm doing it today did you subscribe to the channel please I need it I'm uh, hardly working now and um, but the good thing is that by your help support with words not only with money then I'm actually feeling I feel like I'm doing something very special then you can subscribe, you can start with subscribing my channel and then you can send the link to all of your friends and ask them to subscribe it and you can, uh, if you want, uh, support me by buy me a coffee link and our channel or PayPal at the description and beneath the video you will find the links for it and if you won't find it just send me a message and I will do that the other side used to be a cemetery and um, I'm sure that I will uh, make some, uh, I will destroy the Arabic, because uh, I know Arabic, but you know, only the few, only the basic one. But that area, that gate is called uh, Bab, which is a door or gate of uh, Saria or something like that. Uh, and um, the real meaning of it is the Bab of the dead people who are buried there, because they are but you know, walking dead, dead, uh, dead people, but you know what's happening at night time. And they made a mistake. You see, Zaharia, they actually changed it a little bit. And because of the flowers, and the meaning of the poem is a flower. Then you can see it right here. Uh, again, for the Arab speakers, I'm so sorry, I'm destroying your, your uh, language, which is a beautiful language. It used to be open from there. Remember the idea of gates is not to make uh, the enemy an easy entrance. But that was the entrance. But as you can see, it's a small one. Then the Arabs, the local people, asked to open here. 
another entrance uh, to walk through it. And as you can see, I cannot use the main entrance to the city, the Flowers Gate. But the word Herod tells us that some people thought that Herod Antipas, the son of King Herod, a palace was here. It wasn't. But um, but the name is here. There are so many names for that. And we are leaving the neighborhood outside and we are entering to the neighborhood inside, which is a different neighborhood, Babel Hutta. One of you, I'm not sure who, asked me about um, one of the hotels area here, and I think he was talking about that. Look at the language and look at the flag. We're talking about a Muslim Indian hospice uh, from 12th century. A very important guy, Sufi, actually lived here. It was an important center of the uh, Islam in the India before India and Pakistan became to be two different countries. Uh, I must tell you that we have a lot of Muslims in India. If you will add Pakistan and Bangladesh, then you can understand that we are talking about really big uh, Muslim community. And and here is one of them. Then if you talked about that, here it is, the Indian auspice. Babel Hota was uh, still considered to be a very poor Muslim uh, neighborhood. There are so many minorities here. For example, we saw the Indians here. Uh, just before the Independence Day, they, had, they actually had a lot of uh, support to the Muslim Palestinians. I can understand. Now it's like trying to be more gentle with everyone. Um, you will be, I don't know, happy, but you will be surprised to hear that a lot of gypsies are here. What? Yes, we do have uh, Muslims, gyp gypsies here. So. But um, I love this neighborhood. I love this neighborhood. Oh, this is the Uncle Mustache. They have excellent food here. Excellent food. And here as well, Jabal Coffee Shop. This time you won't continue straight. We will turn left through Babel Hutta. Babel Hutta, it's one of the names of the entrances to the Temple Mount, to Al-Aqsa Mosque. And if you're talking about a non-touristic area, welcome. Some of you, my subscribers, are actually asking me things to do. Some of them I can. Here it is. I just had to have a day off because of Joe Biden, and sadly I don't work a lot. Um, then, in that case, um, by your own support, I'm visiting the city. Beautiful neighborhood, isn't it? Usually I'm turning, oh look how beautiful it is. From 1437. Usually I'm turning right. 
at Bab al Hutta Street. But this time, let's continue straight. I never used that street. Then let's see where it actually leads me. And look up here, the it is. There's so many alleys that I didn't visit, mainly because when, uh, you know, it's not the most tur a touristic place. But you ask me for that, and here it is. It might be that it actually reached nowhere, but I will turn around. Hello. Hello. Come. Hello. Come. Come on. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Is this around? This is the coast. This is what? You can see it's a private area. Then I will turn right. Gloss. Gloss. Your a book. Uh, this is the street and the you speak a brick. You speak a brick and English. Uh, Babel Hutta to the left. Mimbo. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, Shukran. Then I will turn left now. As you can see, the street leads to um, that end. But this is the beauty, beauty of it. Then I will turn left now, but again, we're talking about um, mm, less rich people and still beautiful people. I want you to see the uh, politics in the signs. Um, all, every sign will have, has got three languages. Hebrew, Arabic, and English. Someone tried to delete Bab al Hutta Street in Hebrew. Here you can see it a little bit. Uh, but don't hate them, because I can tell you that in uh, uh, some of the streets in the Jewish quarter, someone tried to delete the Arabic. I hope that, I hope that uh, we will find a solution for it. But look how beautiful is that alley. There's so many beautiful places to visit here. The gimbal that I bought, it's in the one, and that's because you support me. And uh, I'm trying to figure out how to deal with it. Should I climb? No, I'm not. I will continue with Bab al Hutta to the gate, and in surprise, surprise, it will lead us to the Via Dolorosa as well, and to St. Anne Church. Behind that fence, and you won't be able to see it, it's um, it has the pools. Uh, that's where the Romans or even King Herod built another water system to save any drop of water. 
and it's well known I think we can actually see it from here it's well known because of uh, another story that's where Jesus cure a blind man according to the book of John and just behind I don't know if, if we will be able to see it I don't know what you can see from there yeah, but this is the area of it and you know what let's continue through that street yes I can see St. Ham Church right there and the pools are next to it and that makes a run tour around it I could enter to the pools now but it's closed it's closed between 12 to 2 and it's already 2 to 12 I could hear the church bells all right let's give them give the tractor place to See the French flag of uh, St. Anne Church and uh, it has the pools. We're making a run tour around it. This is the area of the gypsies. I don't know who is a gypsy, it's it not. See something from here. Okay. Let's see, if you can see something. Can you see something? Because uh, uh, I cannot see a thing. But that that's the pool for sure. Mm. Ah, yeah. You can see St. Han Church. St. Han Church is the place that Crusaders and some of the Catholic Christians believe that Mary, the mother, was born. And to the right, you can see it has the pools. It belongs now to the French. That's why you could see the French flag. And look at that beautiful sofa. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Let's continue down to the monastery of St. Han and you can see the walls, a part of the southern, no, western wall of the city. You can visit it and if we are at the Muslim quarter you can hear the Muslim calls the prayer to come and pray. You can see the pools and St. Anne Church. But it's a rampant tour. It's a beautiful tour. And if you want to reach later on, Actually, it's the end anyhow. Um, it has the pools, the exit is from here. You 
It's like all the mountains all together. Beautiful. That's where we reach. Soon you would see it. We saw in that tour Damascus gates, the flower gates, and now you will see another gate, the lion's gate. And the lion's gate street, which leads to the first station of the Via Dolorosa and the entrance to Berhasta and the entrance to the tomb of Mary. Oh, sorry, to the birthplace of Mary. This is the Greek Orthodox part. And later on, I will try to enter it. I want to show you the closed gates of Berhasta Pools. Here it is. They will open it at uh, 2, 2 o'clock, 2 p.m., 1400 hours. Thank you very much for being with me. You can see Damascus, ah, the Lion's Gate, which is now in front of you. If you will continue with it, you will reach uh, Mount of Olives and Garden of Gethsemane. Then see you in the next video. Bye bye.